You know that smoking is bad for your body. You also know that the longer you smoke, the worse it is for your body. But what you may not know is how good it is for your body to quit smoking, and that the longer you go without smoking, the healthier your body becomes. After only 20 minutes from your last cigarette, your blood pressure, pulse rate, and the temperature of your hands and feet all return to normal. After eight hours, the nicotine in your bloodstream reduces by 93 and a quarter percent. After 12 hours, your blood oxygen level increases to normal, while your carbon monoxide level drops to normal. After 24 hours, your quitting-related anxieties peak and will return to pre-quitting levels within two weeks. After 48 hours, damaged nerve endings are regrowing and your sense of smell and taste are returning to normal. At this time, your quitting-related anger and irritability peak. After 72 hours, you are 100% nicotine-free. Your withdrawal symptoms already peaked, the bronchial tubes in your lungs are relaxing, and you're now breathing easier. After five to eight days, you're having an average of three Q-induced cravings each day, and no craving lasts longer than three minutes. After 10 days, you have less than two cravings a day, each less than three minutes. After two weeks, the blood circulation in your gums and teeth are similar to a non-smoker. After two to four weeks, you are quitting related anger, anxiety, impatience, insomnia, restlessness, and depression are gone. After two weeks to three months, your risk of heart attack is dropping and your lung function is improving. After three weeks to three months, your circulation is improved, your chronic cough disappeared, and you are walking easier. After nine months, your sinus congestion, fatigue, and shortness of breath are decreased. The cilia in your lungs, which keep your lungs clean, are regrown and you have increased energy. After one year, your excess risk of coronary heart disease, heart attack, and stroke are now half the excess risk of a smoker. After 5 to 15 years, your risk of having a stroke is the same as a non-smoker. After 10 years, your risk of lung cancer is 30 to 50 percent of a smoker's risk. Your risk of death from lung cancer is reduced by half, and your risk of pancreatic cancer is the same as a non-smoker. Your risk of mouth, throat, and esophagus cancer is also reduced. After 13 years, your risk of tooth loss is the same as a non-smoker. After 15 years, your risk of coronary heart disease is the same as a non-smoker. After 20 years, the risk of death from smoking-related causes is now that of a non-smoker.